Lula da Silva spent the first full day of his 12-year sentence here at the Federal Police Prison in Curitiba. A small crowd of supporters with a police guard protested nearby. A TV was installed in his cell so he could watch his favourite football team, Corinthians, play a big game. So Lula is up there on the top floor of this federal police prison, segregated from the other inmates, uh, receiving special treatment as perhaps befits a former president, but nonetheless a prisoner, a convicted criminal. Lula was defiant addressing his supporters before handing himself in to police, saying he's innocent, that he's the victim of a campaign to prevent him from standing in October's presidential elections. Elections many believe he would win. No, I'm not hiding. I'm going to go there and see their faces so they know I'm not afraid. So they know I'm not going to run and so they know I'm going to prove my innocence. They need to know that. He said he'll put his name forward for those elections, although his conviction means he's barred from political activity for eight years. Even from behind bars, Lula will keep mobilizing all of us. We believe he's the one to lead us out of the current crisis in Brazilian politics. It's not just about punishing former President Lula, but all the Brazilian people. We are suffering the loss of the rights we fought so hard to achieve. The 72-year-old has been a huge feature in Brazilian politics for generations. President from 2003 to 2010, and before that an opposition firebrand and union leader. But now all sides in Brazil's embattled political scenario will have to get used to life without the man the whole country simply knows as Lula. Daniel Schweinmer, Curitiba.